Hey guys, welcome back to T-Bone Tech. In today's video, we are going to be reviewing the uh, Comlight EF2RF mount adapter. So this is going to allow us to mount EF and EFS lenses to our Canon EOS R or Canon EOS RP or anything with an RF mount. Now this adapter costs about $50 on Amazon and the original Canon mount adapter is going to cost you $100. So it's going to be quite a big price difference between the two. And in this video, we are going to be doing comparisons between the original Canon versus the Comlight and see if it's worth the extra $50 to pick up the Canon or if you should save the $50 and pick up the Comlight. So here is the adapter itself and it's going to come with a front and rear cover to protect the inside and to protect the actual mount from getting dirt or whatever in it. And here we can actually see that the build quality is actually going to be pretty decent. It's not going to feel quite as nice as the Canon, but it's also going to feel pretty decent, especially considering the price tag. Here we can see that this will mount EF and EFS lenses indicated by the red circle and the white square. And we can also see the eight pins here on the bottom of the adapter. And those eight pins are going to give us full electronic control over the lens that we have adapted. So with this adapter attached, we can actually autofocus and we can also control our aperture all electronically. It also has this handy little tripod mount, which the original Canon one actually doesn't have. And it's going to be really handy, especially if you're shooting with a big and heavy lens, you can actually just mount the adapter to your tripod rather than putting all the strain on the actual mount of your Canon camera. So that was the Comlight adapter. Now we're going to take a look at the original OEM one by Canon, and we're going to do a little quick comparison. So here is the Canon one, and here we can see that the build quality is going to be just a little bit better uh, than the Comlight, but they're going to be definitely very similar. We can just see that the Canon's gonna be a little bit more polished and just a little bit more premium here, and the Canon is also going to adapt EF and EFS lenses, so they're going to be basically the exact same. Now coming in here, we can see that they're almost the exact same size, the little release of the lens is going to be a little bigger on the Comlight and it's going to be a little bit more smaller on the Canon. But really nothing too crazy here as far as differences in build quality and overall size and weight. Okay, so now it's time to actually go out and test these adapters and see how they do. So first we have the Canon adapter here and we're going to do a quick little focus test. So first we are going to focus on the Canon 60D and then we're going to go back and focus on the Canon T7i. And as you guys can see, it's doing a pretty good job at pulling our subject into focus. Even though we're shooting at a very shallow depth of field, her aperture is set to f2.8. So take a look at how the Canon adapter is focusing and then we're going to switch over to the Comlight adapter. So here we have the Comlight adapter and we're going to repeat the same test. We're going to focus on the Canon T7i and then we're going to focus on the Canon 60D and we're going to see if it's faster or slower. And right now it seems to be basically the exact same speed. They're going to be very similar as far as autofocusing speed goes. Both the autofocus is going to be very fast and accurate even with this you know, slower 40 millimeter lens again at f2.8. Definitely both of these are going to be very similar and there's really not going to be a big difference here. All right, so now we're going to do a more real life face tracking test of these two adapters. This first test video was shot with the Comlight adapter and here we can see it's doing a very good job at keeping my eye in focus as I move away and toward the camera. It's doing overall a really good job and now we're going to switch over to the Canon and here on the Canon we can see that it is also doing a very good job. It might be just a tiny bit smoother but I really don't see a big difference here whatsoever. Both adapters prefer just as expected. Okay, so now we're going to do a very quick image quality comparison. This first picture was shot with the Canon and the second was shot with the Comlight adapter. And as you guys can see, there really isn't a big difference as far as sharpness goes. I think the focus is a little bit different between both these two pictures. So one part is going to be more in focus than the other. But as we can see, the image quality is going to be almost the exact same. And this really isn't going to be a big surprise because there's not actually going to be any glass elements in the actual adapters. So really the image quality should not be different at all, but I figured I would throw up a couple of sample pictures just so you guys could take a look for yourselves. So for only $50, you really can't go wrong and I definitely would recommend this. It works great so far and I have had absolutely no problems and it actually adds an extra feature that the Canon one doesn't with the tripod adapter. So win-win. But that's about it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up down below and of course, make sure to hit that subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video just like this one to my YouTube channel. But that's all I got for you guys in this video. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.